A popular song inspired by NASCAR hashtag gets banned. Find out what I'm talking about. Coming up next. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We just went over 900 subscribers, and I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed and you like the content, please feel free to subscribe down below. All right, let's get into it. Unless you've been living under a rock, you have recently heard the term, let's go, Brandon, and you know it is subtext for FJB. Uh, so let's get into that real quick. For those of you who do not know, Brandon Brown won a race at Talladega and during the post-race interview with Kelly Stavis, the crowd was chanting FJB and she tried to clean it up for TV, I guess so they wouldn't get an FCC fine or whatever, and said the crowd, the crowd is chanting, let's go Brandon, and this thing sort of took off from there. You hear it chanted just about at every college campus, at every football game. Uh, it's been on the race cars of some race cars I've seen uh, at the local short tracks. Uh, Cody Connor, most recently in my mind, ran it uh, on the side of his car and on the hood at South Boston during the Cars Tour race. So it's, it's pretty widespread. And because of that, obviously, uh, you've seen a bunch of merchandise, a bunch of t-shirts, and also a rapper has made a song about it. It is number one in iTunes and it was the top of the chart. His name is Bryson Gray. So I came across an article day today in the day from the Daily Mail by Gina Martinez, where rapper Bryson Gray, just uh, previously mentioned, uh, with his number one song, has been banned from several platforms, including uh, this one uh, that I'm on, and also I think Facebook, possibly, and Instagram, I think, are the ones that also. Uh, Banned him. Uh, I will include a link to the article uh, in the uh, description down below if you want to read the article, which I encourage you to do. Never take, you know, my word for it because I might get something wrong. So I read the article and check it out, but I thought it was interesting. Now I'm not going to dive into the politics of it, but the reason for the ban is they're saying there's some medical misinformation in there. So because of that, uh, they are banning it. I think it could possibly, and I've got no proof of this, this is just an opinion, it could possibly be, you know, politically motivated blue versus red type deal. Uh, I would lean more toward that, but like I said, that's just an opinion, and I'm not going to get into that crap, because you can see politics anywhere you want to. I'm not ever going to delve into that, hopefully on this channel. Uh, but I think a better solution would be just to, like, like on the radio and in any other rap song, if there's a cuss word or anything like that, they just censor it. If they got a problem with that one part, I think they should just censor that one part and let the man keep riding on his platforms. But uh, whatever, that's uh, their deal. So I saw this in the news and I don't really have, I'm, like I said, I'm not gonna get political and it's hard to talk about this without getting super political. So I'm not gonna get into that, but I thought it was a sign of the times we're living in that uh, the guy got his song banned. Uh, it is what it is. So, all right. That's all I've got for you today. Just wanted to keep you up to date on that. Uh, if you got a comment, leave it down in the comment section. I might answer them. I might not. Like I said, I'm not getting political on this. I don't care who you vote for. Uh, and if you like the content, like I said, please subscribe down below. And other than that, thanks for your time. Peace.